Hello everybody, this is Steve and welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop. Well, today we wanted to do a quick video for you on a topic called node editing. Uh, this is inside of your vCarve Pro software. In a couple earlier videos, we had showed you how to take, pull in a raster image, a JPEG image if you would, convert it into a vectorize image using a free piece of software known as Inkscape. Well, after that we also gave you another video and it was how to basically perform the same action import a raster image, a JPEG image, directly into vCarve Pro itself use their editing uh, software, uh, the editing part of their software and trace your bitmap out in, in vCarve Pro and basically do the same thing you did in Inkscape, okay? Now, we also shot a video to discuss the importance with CAD and CAM and, and, and how it communicates with, with a vectorized image over a JPEG. Well, today what we're going to show you is how to take and clean up these images once you have them in vCarve Pro. And it just so happens that we have our handy dandy little happy Sunday morning fishing moose. So, we're going to take a quick look at Mr. Moose here. Now what we see as we start to scan in, we see squares, rectangles, we see a bunch of clutter. Uh, you'll, you'll see other videos out there where there may be a, a large group of, of little dots down around one of your vector lines. Uh, we don't have any in this particular image, but for the most part we do have some clutter that we are going to want to get rid of. And we're going to show you real quick how to do that. Okay, we go over into our edit objects, okay, and we go into our node editing. Boom. Okay, now let's say that we start with an item that we don't even want. We can just click on it, push delete, and it's gone, okay. That would be the first thing I would suggest. Go around, go around your workpiece and, and find everything you don't need. Click on it, delete it. You don't need all these rectangles, so get rid of them. All right. Couple here. Anything that just doesn't look natural, get rid of it. Okay? You don't need it. All right. Now, for the sake of the example, we won't go too nutty on deleting things because we want to save a little time to show you how to edit the nodes. All right. Now, these were some of his fishing lures that he had up in his, his antlers. He's also got some, uh, some area around uh, his fishing rod and whatnot, as well as his boat. Well, for the sake of the example, what we're going to do as we're just going to show you a couple areas. Okay. Let's go. Let's go up to his antler. All right. We're going to we're going to look at this uh this one big fishing lure right here. Now, if we click on him after we've gone into edit objects and clicked on node editing, we see all our nodes are lit up. Now, you can manipulate your nodes in a couple of different ways. You can you can put your cursor over it left click hold it and you can drag your you can drag your entire node wherever you may or may not want them to go okay the other thing you can do is you can find a spot where you may not even want your node and you can right click on him your box will break it down so that you can either click on it and hit delete or you can hit D on your keyboard it does the same thing okay same thing again right click we're gonna delete our node right click we're going to delete our node well this one we're going to probably want to rotate him a little pull him out we're going to reshape this one lure basically okay right click we're going to delete him right click we'll delete him right click we'll delete him again okie dokie so here we go little by little we're, we're starting to re retweak our uh, our fishing lure that Mr. Mr. Moose has here. And that's basically all there is to your node editing. 
Now, let's say for a second that we, we, we have a run, and I'm, I'm thinking that the fishing pole is probably a little bit better area to show it on. Okay, so let's bring the fishing rod up. Now, we see we've got a piece of pole, a piece of pole, a piece of pole, so on and so forth. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in. Make sure I'm in my, my node editing mode, all right? I'm going to get rid of this square. I'm going to get rid of this square, okay? Now, all this can probably go as well, but just for the sake of this example, this is what we're going to do here, all right? Now, I want to tie these four segments, five segments of fishing rod together so that we have one fishing pole, because if we were to go and engrave this right now, it's, it's going to look awful. Okay, so always zoom in and out, never, never lose track of where you're at. Okay, zoom in, we can see that this is the very tip of the rod and the, the fishing line coming down. Okay, we're going to zoom in and we're going to drop a node. Okay, right click, insert a point, right click, insert a point. Okay, now just like we had showed you in another video, uh, I think on constructing uh, a clock, um, we did a little node editing in there, but this will be a, this will be a good refresher. Okay, now in order to join these two, we've got to open this vector up. Okay, we're going to right click and we're going to delete this point. We're going to right click and we're going to delete the span. Now we have just reopened our fishing pole. Okay, but we need to attach him down to here. Okay. Now, it's not as though we can't delete the span from here to here. It may, it may or may not create a little bit more work for us, okay? But we'll do that just to show you. We'll delete our span. Now, if we grab this node down here, zoom back out. This is the next piece of fishing rod we're on. Grab him, bring him up, okay? Same thing here. Grab this fella, bring this node up. Now don't worry about all your lines and this and that. At the moment, we're worried about getting the fishing rod all together, okay? One, one step at a time. Now, okay, we can, we can physically grab our node and we can rotate our curvature we can get him straighter. Okay, now I want to attach him to here. Now we had showed you in a clock video how you can uh, how you can highlight holding down the shift key, light up both sides of what it is you want to join. Now we could go down into edit objects, join open vectors. Now. I may have too big of a space between each one of these for them to link up. Apparently not. My tolerance was set uh, high enough so that they joined. Great. If, however, that didn't work, we'll show you one other way. Okay, same thing again. We're going to go to Edit Objects, Node Editing. We're going to Insert we're going to right click, we're going to insert a point. We're going to come over here. Uh, actually, we're going to leave this point. We're going to right click and we're going to delete the span. Now we're going to come down to the next section of fishing pole. We're not worried about getting the rod straight. We're just worried about getting everything connected at the moment, okay? So here, we've only got the one node. Well, in this case, I am going to insert a point on each side of that. Okay, right click, insert point. In this case, right click, delete this point. Right click. Now you'll notice just below my little cursor, when I'm getting, it looks almost like a little tilde, like the tilde key. It's a little wave there. You know that when you see that, you're going to be able to delete your span, okay? Pow. Now, I am going to take this section of fishing pole, and I'm going to bring him way up here. Okay? Now, I want to connect, say, just him to here. Well, I'm going to go into Edit Objects. I'm going to grab my Selection Mode. 
I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to select him. And I'm hoping this is going to work. And it should. And I'm going to close my vector. By join or close vectors with a straight line, you also have join or close vectors with a smooth line. Now I can pretty much do the exact same thing down on this one. Okay? I need to go back into transform. I'm sorry, edit objects. Note editing. Grab the end of him. And I'm going to pull him up a little higher. Now, in this case, when I go under selection mode, because I've already joined the vector on one side and I've closed that toolpath, I've only got this one here to contend with. I can come down to edit object. Again, join, close vectors with a single straight line, and pile. We have now turned all this into one open vector. Now, we've got a god awful looking fishing pole here. So we're going to take, and we want to straighten these lines out. We want, we want a straight fishing pole, okay? We go back into edit objects, node editing. We're going to click. Great. Now we're going to start deleting the nodes that we don't need. Okay, and again, you can you can hover over it, and you can hit D on the keyboard. It does the exact same thing, and we can get rid of the nodes that we don't need. Oh, don't want to do that. Just click the undo on the back arrow. Okay. Now, we've kind of straightened out our fishing pole a little. Now you can you can work this. You can grab a hold of the physical nodes themselves. Manipulate them as the where and how you want them. Now, it's definitely a far cry better than it was, but this, this piece would actually would still need a significant amount of work. You do the same thing to tie in your fishing line all the way down. Uh, you clean up his antlers, and in a case like this, if you could have another picture printed out, uh, it, it would kind of be no different than having reference when you're airbrushing. You know, have a reference picture to reconstruct your nodes so you've got a pretty good idea as to what it is you're trying to reconstruct. Well, I hope this helped. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to, to shoot us an email and we'll try to get back to you as quickly as we can, okay? You guys, you've been great. Thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.